better bring her up five points in the wind, Jim. Five points in the wind, sir. We pass Lumbock Island there. Give her three more. Three more, sir. What are you doing, Ralph? Mooning again? Yeah. Don't you know you're bound for home? Almost wish I didn't have to go back. Spent the ten happiest years of my life here in the islands. Yeah, well, I've had my fill of them. I don't care if I never see the South Seas again. I'm sorry, boys. No smoking. You know we're loaded with case and head gas. Careful, you know there's no danger here on wrong. Why do you want to argue? Okay, Kev. Well, let's get into that palatial cabin of ours and unpack. <laughs> Oh, you're not going to quit, are you? Come on, come on, come on, come on, here. Come on, here. What's the matter? Uh, Listen, uh, Bosun. Take a couple of men below and get those drums ship shape. Yes, sir. All right, fellas, let's be going. Well, here's the royal suite. Ooh. And I'm crowned already. Hmm. I wonder what I did with that picture. Oh, sure. Hey, that's not bad. Not bad at all. You've been holding out on me. Oh, no. It just came in the last letter. That's Sylvia. Oh, this is the girl your father raised and wants you to marry? Mm-hmm. Yeah, both our dads sort of expect us to carry on their partnership. <laughs> we used to romance together when we were kids. I imagine that wouldn't be hard to do. Yeah, she still considers herself engaged to me. How about you? Oh, I did say I was going to marry her when I came back. Maybe I will. As if you hadn't changed her mind. Ever send her a picture yourself? Now listen, where would I get a picture made? Out here in the islands. Good. Come in. Oh. Boom. Now ready, sir. Come on in. Let's get at it. Mm. What do you got? Very nice beef steel, very nice fresh pigs, plenty of cream. Pigs. I might have known what you'd order. <laughs> well, go ahead and try them. You'll like them. Yeah, you've been telling me that for 10 years. How about something I like for a change? Some bacon and eggs. Bacon, all moldy, eggs go pip pip. <laughs> you know, we're two pals that get along as well as we do. Our tastes are miles apart. You're telling me. When we get back to civilization, I'll never look a fig nor cream and again. <laughs> you want more, you push the pear devil. Okay. Well... When you get back to civilization, you're going to be too busy helping me with my affairs. Wait a minute. Now wait listen, a you're a much smarter businessman than I am. I was made to come along if I didn't think you were. You know, this situation is going to need plenty of clever handling. Didn't Sylvia's cable say that your father's death was being investigated? Yes, sir. And haven't you got a competent lawyer? Sure. Now, what are you worrying about? You'll get your dad's money, this will be safe? No. Well, you see, when... Sylvia and I were kids. Oh, golly, she, she stuck by me through, well, right or wrong. Now that Dad's gone, well, it's up to me to see that she gets a square deal. Quit twisting your hair, will you? You make me nervous. <laughs> All right, fellas, roll these down and ship them forward. The captain's afraid we're going to roll tonight. Grab that one up there. Yes. Hurry up, get the hands up there. And, you know, this, this cousin Martin of mine, I couldn't trust him. Because, well, he was the cause of my having any trouble with Dad, my running away from home, and... All right, all right, take it easy now, take it easy. Take it easy. Take it. Look out, look out, what's the matter? Orders about cargo, I guess, something like that. Oh, there's no use, boy. There's no use. We're getting to the gas bank. I report to the captain. Captain, everybody on deck. 
the matter? Fire in the hole. Come on, come on, let's sit there. All right, every man for himself. Come on, abandon the ship there, boys. Stop. I'm not going to leave you here. Wake up, wake up. No, no, it's your play. Wake up. Couldn't... Weatherby, no. that man wasn't there. No, it was there. No, 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 there's where he goes. No, no, it was there. No, 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 leave it, leave it, it leave there. it, leave it. That's all it was. Yes, sir. Auntie! Auntie, not here! My boy! Hello, Auntie. Hello, uh, Uncle? Uncle? Well, you were never that familiar before, young man. I'll let him call you Uncle now if he wants to. Well, he used to call me that meddling old fool. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, what's the use of bringing up the past? You must be tired after your trip. Come on over here and sit down in your favorite chair, and it's the most comfortable one. Oh, then it's yours, Auntie. Yes, but you're tired. Oh, no, don't argue. You so sit there. All right, just as you say. My, what a big boy you've grown to be. <laughs> the better one, I hope. You're yes, more considerate of others, eh, Sylvia? <laughs> I've taken your things upstairs, sir. Coffee or brandy, sir? Oh, coffee. A cream, sir? No, no, thanks. Well, Ralph, I thought you liked cream. Well, uh, you sort of get used to doing without it in the islands. Oh. Ralph, your father knew good brandy? Yes. Many times we sat together and talked over our drinks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't see him once more. Had father changed much? Father? No. Not much. Ralph, well, you always did admire your grandfather's picture. Oh, <laughs> yes, uh, grandfather. <laughs> yeah, now, speaking of old times, uh, was it really you or your cousin Martin who broke that window? Why, uh, I'd rather let Martin answer that one. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a Martin. The Martin. Yes, sir. Why don't you answer me? Answer what, Mr. Weatherby? I was just asking whether it was you or Ralph who broke that window. Oh, why go into that? Yes, why, Mr. Weatherby? <laughs> because lawyers live on argument. <laughs> oh, the uh, legal mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that you're home safe and sound, I can go to bed. Oh, good night, dear. Good night. Weatherby, yeah. we'll continue that game tomorrow. Ralph, it's a great pity you didn't come earlier. Your father would have given a great deal to have seen you before he went.
Ralph, I'm giving special orders to the cook about your breakfast. <laughs> oh, thank you. Good night, dear. Uh, good night. Uh, by the way, I'd like to see you at my office tomorrow. Uh, uh, your office? Well, of course, my office. Where do you think I transact business? Well, well, if you don't mind, I... Perhaps, Ralph, I'd rather you'd come here. Yes, you see, I have a, still a slight touch of tropic fever, and if... Uh... That's too bad. Yeah. Well, all right. Then I'll come here to you. Oh, thanks. Uh, well, then I'll say good night. Good night. Good night. Martin, will you see Mr. Weatherby no, off? Never mind, never mind. It's a pleasure. Oh, good good night. night. What's the matter with you young folks? I already said good night. <laughs> Martin, where's my hat and coat? What'd you do with it? Well, I didn't have it. Uh, somebody took it from me. Oh, Martin and Mr. Weatherby are always snapping at each other. Don't take them seriously. No, I won't. <laughs> you know, Ralph, you've changed. Uh, yes. Well, of course, ten years make a difference. Yes. You don't argue with everybody and belittle everything the way you used to. <laughs> Perhaps I'll begin again. Why should you? Oh, you haven't been playing a part since you came home, have you? Uh, uh, no. Then I shan't let you fall back into your old habit. Oh, I like the new Ralph so much better than the old one. Do you think I've changed much? Well, I can't tell just yet. You see, we've just met. Uh, Again. <laughs> but I haven't changed, Ralph. Except that I haven't as many freckles, have I? <laughs> A few more adorable ones on your nose. <laughs> oh, I do hope you're going to like me better than ever. Well, of course I like you. I mean, I do like you. You're not disappointed in me, are you? Well, no, Sylvia. It's, uh, I, I, I think I'm a little tired, that's all. Do you want to turn in? Yes, yes, thanks. Uh, of course, being head of the house now, you'll occupy your father's old room. Mom, well, that dark, gloomy cave? Gordon has his things there all ready well, for him. I don't see how anyone can sleep in that room. Well, let's not discuss it now. Ralph's tired. Don't wait for us. Go right on up. Yes. Well, <laughs> good night. Good night. Uh, uh, Gordon, I think I'd like a little nightcap. Will you bring the brandy up to my room, please? Certainly, sir. Off to you, sir. <clears throat> Good night, Sylvia. Good night. Good night, Phil. John Peck, sir? Yes, go ahead, thanks. Disappointed? No. Why, no. Of course, he is different. Surely you didn't expect him to like the same things after so long. Meaning me? Oh, why pretend? If he's changed, I haven't. Sylvia. I love you. And I love Ralph. And I don't think he's really changed. No? Well, it's rather a cold greeting from one's bridegroom-to-be. Oh, Martin! Can I pour it? No, I don't want to do it. Oh, just leave it now. Pour it later, Gordon. Is there anything more I can do for you, sir? No, that's all, thanks. Good night, sir. Good night.
say, you better be more careful. Oh, everybody's turned in. I've got to be myself once in a while. Say, I thought you said this son couldn't be located. I did. If I'd known he was going to turn up, I wouldn't have got myself mixed up in this affair. I didn't know Sylvia was corresponding with him. Nobody did. That's certainly going to change our plans. Oh, Gordon. Yes, sir? I forgot cigarettes. Would you mind bringing me up some? Why, certainly, sir. Won't you take these with you, sir? Thank you. Do you think he heard us? We didn't say anything out of the way. What if he did hear? But what if he was trying to hear? You mean... spying? Gordon, did you call Mr. Ralph? Yes, miss, a few minutes ago. I thought he'd be more considerate of others. Oh, he probably didn't realize that we're waiting breakfast for him. Perhaps he's tired in the morning, too. Oh, Martin, really? Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Ralph. Hello, man. I Sorry if I kept you waiting. I have a surprise for you, dear. Oh, that's great. <laughs> what is it? Your favorite dish. Fresh figs and cream. <laughs> well, what a wonderful memory you have, my darling. <clears throat> Mr. Weatherby to see you, sir. Oh, oh, yes, of course. You'll have to pardon me. But, my dear, you haven't had your breakfast yet. Weatherby can wait. Uh, yes, but that would be so rude of me. All right, uh, I'll eat the figs while we're talking. <laughs> you call that inconsiderate? Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Ralph. Now that you're here, I'd like to tie up some of the loose ends in the business of this estate. By the way, would you like some figs? Are uh, there plenty more outside? Go ahead. Figs? My gracious, no. I've had my breakfast. All right. If you don't mind, I'll get a cigarette and I'll be right with you. Go yeah, ahead. Well, lots of time. Now, uh, you fill out this form. And write Ralph Nelson on that line. But I don't see that my signature is necessary. Oh, very well. Now well, I have something else for you. Yeah. I thought my father's estate wasn't settled yet. That isn't from the estate. That's yours. But I don't need any money. You keep it for me. You're a most unusual young man. You thought that I wouldn't have any respect for uh, money, eh? No. Oh, by the way, I forgot to ask you, how is your fever? Oh, uh, I'm afraid it's going to be all right. I hope so. But some people come back from the tropics and find this climate quite uh, unhealthy. Strangely enough, I'm enjoying it. Have you anything else in the way of uh, business? No, but since you won't fill out that form, I'll have to do it myself. 
You don't mind? Oh, no, no, no. Go ahead. And, uh, Ralph, uh, what was your mother's maiden name? Come, come, of course you know it. Of course I don't. I'm not Ralph Nelson. You've known it all along. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes, of course, of course I knew it. <laughs> uh, where is Ralph? We were partners in the island. And as we started back, we had an accident and he was badly hurt. Went a little bit out of his head. Well, in his conscious moments, his one thought and fear was that Martin would cheat Sylvia out of her share of the estate. So he insisted that I take his place. Well, I arranged to have him taken care of and came on over. He'll be here as soon as he can make it. What made you think you could get away with a thing like this? Did you imagine I would accept any whippersnapper who came along and pretended to be Ralph? Never thought of you at all. As a matter of fact, Ralph didn't tell me anything about you. All he was worried about was taking care of Sylvia's property. And he wouldn't take no for an answer. So, here I am. I see. Just how was Ralph hurt? I suppose Weatherby has a lot to go over with him. Probably I can help them straighten things out. Now, don't you interfere. If Weatherby wants you, he'll send for you. So finish your breakfast. They can get along without you, Martin. But I'm so familiar with Uncle's affairs. If they want you, they'll call you. Well, that's it. I didn't think I could get away with it. I might as well go tell the rest of them. No, no, no. Don't be hasty. Better get it over with. No one's overheard us. My boy, there's no reason why you shouldn't keep on being Ralph Nelson till Ralph arrives. As long as you're here to take care of his interest, is there any reason why I should? Yes. My old friend's death was no accident. Ralph's father was murdered. Well, why don't you do something about it? It isn't what we know. It's what we can prove. And that's where you fit in. How? First, let me tell you this. My old friend told me in confidence before he died that Martin had forged his name. Martin knew he was facing disgrace and punishment. He knew his uncle was generous and just. So Martin engaged a new butler, Gordon. Oh, so Gordon is new, eh? Yes. And he was the only one with my old friend when he died. Hmm. Oh, well, here is his testimony at the coroner's inquest. Yeah. This was... Uh Given some time ago, wasn't it? Yes. I wonder if he could tell the same story today. Now, that's an idea. Oh, and uh, while uh, Gordon is here, uh, I'll say nothing. You handle it. <coughs> you rang, sir? Oh, yes, Gordon. I've just been discussing my father's death uh, with Mr. Weatherby. Would you mind telling me exactly how it happened? Yes, sir. Mr. Nelson had been ill, sir. He was getting better, so I took him for a walk. He insisted that he didn't need me, sir, and sent me back. He'd been having dizzy spells, sir, so I warned him not to go near the cliff. After I left him, sir, I looked back naturally enough to see if he was going to be all right. And there he was, staggering. I tried to stop him, sir, but he fell just as I reached him. You mean to say you couldn't hold him, Gordon? He nearly took me with him, sir. I've taken this accident very much to heart, and no one else has felt I'm to blame. That's all, Gordon. Thank you, sir. Word for word. What a memory. Well, Martin picked a good man to help him. He stopped you. Maybe, yes. But if you're right about Gordon, he'll go directly to Martin and tell him about the questioning, won't he? Yes. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm.
He's looking for Martin now. for me? Of course. What are you reading? Oh, one of those South Sea Island stories. It's about a white man who leaves civilization for the love of a beautiful native girl. <laughs> Tell me, Ralph, are they really so alluring? Well, I really don't know much about them. Oh, no. You must have had your little flirtations. Oh, I was tempted, but See, I was there to make money and then come home and do the things I've always wanted to do. Oh, it's good to have you back. But I miss that funny little habit you used to have. Oh, uh... I guess I've grown away from that. You know, dear, there were times when I doubted. And then I'd get another of your promising letters. Well, you see, I, uh... I've been very busy. You don't look like a man who's all promises. I hope not. Ralph, what do you think of me, honestly? I think you're the loveliest girl in the world. I, I'm not. But I'm awfully glad you think so. I've been doing a lot of thinking since you came back. About what? Oh, you and me. Do you remember the day you ran away? Uh, yes. I was just a romantic kid. Ralph, we promised we'd wait for each other and... Oh, that's what I've been thinking about. We were both so young. Maybe I'd better release you from that promise. Is there anyone else? No one but you, Ralph. Can't go through with it. What's happened? Sylvia. Well, what about Sylvia? Oh. <laughs> As Ralph Nelson, you've got to make love to her. As Ralph's friend, I can't. You like her pretty well, don't you? Well, I've always wanted to meet someone like her. And now... My boy, she could do worse than you. Ralph, for instance. Oh, I can't go on lying to her. Well, Ralph sent you here to do it. Let him take the consequences. Then we'll both lose out. She'll hate me for tricking her, and she'll despise Ralph for being a party to it. No, I'm going to be fair to her and tell her the truth. No, that isn't being fair to either of them. You came here to help Ralph and Sylvia, and I'm counting on you. You're going to let us all down? I knew I could count on you. You take care of it.
Borden. Yes, sir. Will you come up to my room a minute? Certainly, sir. Yes, sir? Gordon, you consider me the head of the house, don't you? Yes, sir. You'd like to remain here? Why, uh, naturally, sir. I'd like to see your references. Why, I uh, gave them to Mr. Martin when I first came here, sir. Never got them back? I saw no reason to ask them back, sir. Where did you work last, Gordon? At uh, Mr. Hollis Cooper's, sir. Well, nice people, the Coopers. Uh, you know them, sir? And uh, where else? Mr. Charles Andrews and the uh, Smith, sir. That'll do, Gordon. If there are any complaints, sir. Good night, Gordon. I'll get the references from Mr. Martin in the morning. Very good, sir. Who's there? It's Gordon, sir. Pardon me, sir, but you haven't given me my orders for the morning. There's nothing special, Gordon. Good night. Where is he? He's in his room. You better make sure. up. What are we going to do about this guy? He's nobody's fool. He certainly had me sweating. What's that? I don't know. If he's spying on us. Don't try arm. anything like that. I'll see who it is. Hello, Ralph. Hello, Martin. Fine night, isn't it? Say, what do you do when you can't get to sleep? I take a stiff drink and go to bed. Oh, I've tried that. I've tried everything. I can't sleep for worrying. What have you got to worry about? I should have been here before my father died, Martin. His death must have been a terrible shock to you. I can't help feeling that if I'd been here, it never would have happened. I kept blaming myself. No one's to blame, old man. It's terrible when something preys on your mind, isn't it, Martin? When you feel you've done something wrong that you can never make right. Oh, quit it. You don't mind my talking about it, do you? I meant quit thinking about it. Forget it. Well, it doesn't make me feel better to talk about it. Talking takes things like that off your mind, doesn't it, Martin? It does? Then you ought to be able to sleep now. Yeah. Now, coming in? Not yet. Oh, can't you sleep either? Of course, but I'm not tired. All right. Good night. Good night. Did you hear that? I told you he suspected us. Well, what are we going to do about it? I don't know. I don't know. But I'll think of a way out. Come on. Hi, Frank. Oh, there. Uh, good morning. Morning, Gordon. Will you tell Mr. Ralph I'm here? Mr. Ralph, sir? Yes, of course, of course. But he's gone, sir. He left by the early train for San Francisco this morning. That's strange. He asked me to come over. Must have been a sudden decision on his part, sir. Can I show you in, sir? No, never mind. Never mind. Say, what's going on in here? I've never seen the old man so excited about a case in all my life. Well, the only case I know about is the case Mr. Ralph has on Miss Sylvia. Oh, yeah? Good morning, Martin. Good morning, Mr. Weatherby. Where is Sylvia? Up in her room. Hmm. Anything wrong with her and Ralph? No, of no. course not. No. He's so keen about her, he left this morning without saying goodbye.
Well, what's the matter, Sylvia? Oh, I don't know. Ralph's so different. Why, he's like another person sometimes. Hasn't that young Jack Leg said anything to you about getting married yet? Oh, yes, but... All it seems to mean to him is keeping a promise. Promise. Don't talk to me about promises. When I was a young girl, I sat on my hands like our dumps and waited for the man I loved. Oh, Auntie. And look at me today. Do you want to wait? No, of course I don't. Well, you've waited ten years for Ralph. He left you once and he'll leave you again. Oh, Auntie, please. Well, never mind, dear. Come downstairs with me and we'll just figure something out together. Have the swimming pool cleaned out and filled, will you? Yes, miss. That's a very good idea. I was thinking it might help to have a party. You know, he'll surely be back by the 9th. The 9th? Why, that's his birthday. I think I'll invite all the boys and girls he knew when we were kids. I'm sure he'll be delighted to meet all his old friends. <laughs> the lovely weather we're having, isn't it? If you enjoy that sort of weather. Yeah, I find it quite enjoyable. Isn't it rather hard on your eyes? No, never. It never, never strains my eyes to enjoy nature. <laughs> nature? I believe the young person's name is Helen. What young person? I was admiring your garden. You never noticed it before. No, I had never had such lovely rosebuds in it before. Put up there. Put down there and fall all day. Perfect form. I don't doubt it. <laughs> That's all you old men have eyes mm -hmm. for. And the little hussy knows it. <laughs> I wasn't referring to her. <laughs> I just saw a swan dive in the pool. Swan. We've had fish and ducks in that pool, but swan... <laughs> <laughs> I thought Ralph was going to be here. No, well, he, he should be here any minute. There he is now. Ralph! Ralph! Oh, hello, Sylvia. Oh, I'm so glad you're back. Oh, isn't he grand looking? Oh, he's marvelous. Oh, boy, has he got her going. Oh. Here's Ralph! Oh, how are you? Hi, boy. How are you? How are you? Hello, Ralph. Hello. Hello, Ralph. Well, hello. Oh, don't you remember, Joey, the boy you used to fight with? Oh, yes. I gave you a black eye once, didn't I? Oh, yeah? You mean I gave it to you. Long time no see. Well, that's all the old crowd, except Mildred, of course. Oh, well, where's Mildred? Why, you know. She married a missionary and went to Singapore. You wrote me about meeting her over there. 
Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> you know how it is. You meet so many people. <laughs> come on, Rats, get your shirt on. Let's go for a swim. Oh, later on. Go yeah, ahead. Come on, Rats. Oh, 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 go ahead. Oh, come on. Ralph doesn't seem very glad to see his old friend. Well, I think he's doing very well. Very well. Uh, it's great to be young, isn't it? How would you like to be a girl again? I was considered very good looking. Yes. No, oh, you did have a swell figure. Well, that may. No, no, no. no. Uh, pardon me, I must see to something. The name is Helen. Well, the car that just drove up is bringing somebody much more important than Helen. Oh, Ralph. Yeah. Ralph. It's all right. Don told me everything. He... he has? Well, that's, that's quite a surprise, Mr. Weatherby. I... Oh, I am glad to see you after all this time. But where's Don? He's at the swimming pool. And don't forget, I'm the only one who knows. Yeah, come on. Lovely weather for the month of June, isn't it? Yes. June is the best month of the year. That's why every girl wants to be a June bride, I suppose. You always wanted to get married in June, didn't you, Sylvia? Oh, I used to talk about it. Well, now's your chance to do something about it. Huh, Ralph? Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes, but then, if we wait, then... You're right, dear. We'll have to wait a whole year if we wait until next June. I know, but after all... We... Well, after all, why not? Why wait a year? What's going on here? Oh, Sylvia's setting a wedding day. Congratulations, Ralph. Gee, I'm glad to see you. Allow me to congratulate the bride. Oh, Sylvia, uh, this is my partner from the islands, uh, Mr. Uh, Don Phillips. Why didn't you let me know you were coming? I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Phillips. Won't you join us? Ralph will find you a suit. Yeah, come on, we'll both get one. No, thanks. Don't bother. Mr. Phillips, you haven't met everyone. How do you do? Now, you're probably tired. Yes, I, I've had a long trip. For nothing. Nothing? Oh, it was worth the trip to find you and my pal so happy together. Oh, uh, oh, well, uh, we better go in the house and have a drink and a little talk. Uh, uh, will you excuse us? Don, you owe me an explanation. Oh, I'll explain everything as soon as Weatherby gets here. Have a drink. I don't want a drink. I want to know why you and Sylvia... Oh, you'll know in a minute. Sit down and have a drink. I don't need your permission to drink my own liquor. All right. Have a nice trip? No. How's your health? Recovered? Yes. And I'm in the pink. What are you sore about? You sent me here to take your place? Yeah, and you've taken it. Only too well. That's a good thing I did. You're right about Martin. And except I haven't any proofs yet. No, of course not. You've been too busy making love to Sylvia. That's not true. You're a liar. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> You're the same old Ralph. You haven't changed a bit. I'm trying to explain to Ralph. No, no, just a minute. You explain something to me first. What did you do in San Francisco? I went up to check up on Gordon. He's got a criminal record. Gordon? Who's Gordon? The butler. The man Martin hired to kill your father. That's a fact, Ralph. They contrived your father's death, and if you get in their way, they'll finish you off. Me? Yes, you. It's your problem now. I'm stepping out. But, but, Don... It's your home. They're your enemies. It's all yours, and you can take them. Oh, now, Don, listen. Wait a minute. Want me to stay as long as somebody may get hurt. I didn't take the risk, huh? Well, I... Drew, I'm out of it, I tell you. All right. No, 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 no. I thought you boys were pals, friends, partners. Then don't tell me you're fighting over a girl. <laughs> I asked him to look after my affairs. Yeah, he has. I arrive and find him announcing his engagement to Sylvia. Well, why not let the girl decide what she wants to do? She will anyway. Perhaps you hadn't thought of that. I'm going to sing Memories Rose for Ralph. It was always his favorite song. You know, I sang it the night before he went away.
good idea. Oh, what did I do? That silly mannerism of yours. Oh, I forgot it. I'll try to explain to no, her. Don't talk to her now. Let's get out of here. <laughs> well, what's wrong? She knows who we are. There's only one thing we can do about it. Well? To justify ourselves by getting the goods on Martin. If he isn't here, he left right after you did to keep an eye on you, I think. I wonder who that is. Martin is back. Oh, he is. Well, listen, here's what I'm going to do. have a little confidential talk with you. You still worried? Yes, I am. You're taking your father's death too seriously. It could have been prevented. But somebody wanted it to happen. Who? Gordon. What makes you say that? Because I went to San Francisco and checked up on his references. None of them ever heard of him. Not only that, but he has a prison record. And although he was acquitted, Two years ago, he was tried for murder. So? <laughs> well, that makes him a dangerous character, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it would seem so. But his motive puzzles me. Why should he kill a defenseless old man unless it were to conceal some crime? What do you think? I, uh... I don't know what to think. Well, I can't get any rest until I get this thing run down. Can I count on you? Certainly. Well, think it over and give me your ideas in the morning. All right. Well, by the way, my partner just got in from the island. I put him in the guest room. I think I'll go up and talk to him. On second thought, maybe somebody else hired him to do a thing he wouldn't tackle himself. Why do you say that? Martin, if you keep your promise, we'll run down the man who committed this murder. Yes. Good night. Aren't you going up? Not yet. I, I want to think about this. Yeah. Why don't you? Good night. Close that door. You know Ralph Beck? Yes, he just left here. Did you find out where he went and what he was doing? Yes, he was getting the goods on you, running down those fake references of yours and digging up the Carter case. Do you want to be arrested tomorrow morning? No. And I don't expect you to either. Then we've got to take care of him. But we've got to be clever doing it. Oh, I've got it all planned. I know all about his habits. And as for an alibi, he's always breathing about the old man's death, isn't he? Yes. Blaming himself and prowling about at nights because he can't sleep. Suicide. Yes. 
Where is he? In his friend's room. Good. You leave it all to me. My gun, Gordon. I'm just cleaning the rust off, sir. I think the salt air must have got it during your trip, sir. Sir, I think it's all off now, sir. That's all, Gordon. When you hear the next clap of thunder, you can quit worrying. What a terrible storm last night. I hardly slept to wink. It's too bad, Auntie. That lightning and thunder. There was one terrific clap that seemed almost in the next room. Did you sleep well, Mr. Phillips? Oh, yes, yes. I, I felt quite at home. Well, I'm glad of that. I want you to. I always treat Ralph's friends as though they were a part of the family. So I've noticed. Oh, boy, am I going to have figs and cream? If you wish. Hmm. <laughs> You and Ralph seem to have the same taste. Oh, yes, we have. Uh, oh, um, where's Silver? I, I mean, <laughs> Miss Evans. Would she prefer to have breakfast in her own room? Now, that's ready for Ralph. If you'll pass it to his place, please. Certainly. Oh, uh, did you call Mr. Ralph Gordon? Yes, madam, as usual. But he didn't answer. I'd call him again, Gordon. Perhaps he wants to sleep on, sir. He seemed rather upset last night. Well, he seemed quite all right to me. He probably didn't want to worry you. He did have something on his mind. 
I'd call him again, Gordon. But, sir... Immediately, Gordon. Very good, sir. Hello, everybody. Well, Gordon, didn't you sleep well last night? Big pardon, sir. I'd like uh, strawberries, toast, black coffee, bacon and eggs. But, yes, sir. Now, Auntie, I've had enough things to last me a lifetime. Here's the customer for you. And if you'll excuse me, I want to telephone. What's Mr. Weatherby's number, Martin? Uh, 239. What's the trouble? What do you want a lawyer for? <laughs> well, of course, for legal advice. But it's a little matter between my partner and myself. Come on. Come on. Oh, um, uh, pardon me. Shall I? Well, where are you going? I'm going to town, and I won't be back for a while. What a family. Don, why drag oh, wait me minute, away? Wait a minute, I'm going to show you. The first night I was here, I found out I was being watched. Good Lord. Come here, Stan. I want you to drive us by the Coast Road South. I can't. Mr. Ralph has ordered the car. I'm driving him. Oh, yes, you'll drive us. And like it. All right. I'll drive you and I'll like it. Say, where are you going? I thought you were going to be here for a half hour. Tell Mr. Ralph I'm driving Gordon away, will you? Sure. Just a moment. You're not telling anybody anything. You're taking a ride with me. Make it snappy. Oh, Martin! Come on, let's go. Step on it. I fixed up this fellow to be watched while I was watching them. Yeah, very clever, but... <laughs> I don't see why you want to bring Weatherby over here and... the bullet hole through that dummy's head. Attempted murder. What? That's legal evidence. Wait, who did it? Gordon, come on. just shown Ralph how they tried to murder me. I think it's time to call the police. I think you should call them. Well, Don, you can't. Why not? Well, Father always prided himself on the family name, and Martin's one of us. Can't you see the disgrace of it? Well, so what's my life compared to the family name, huh? Uh, don't you see that, that you can't do it because... Push it right down to the ground. I got it better now. Keep it there. Yeah. Attorney for your father's estate, I insist you call the police. If you don't, I'm going to do it myself. But I... But... Yes. Yes, speaking, Sergeant. You know what? Yeah, very well. Yes, I'll come right down and take charge. Oh, Martin and Gordon were just killed in an accident. What? Yes, the car turned over. They can be trying to make the border. Yes? Chopper said they forced him to speed. He wasn't badly injured, though, he... Well, making a getaway. Well, now go down to the station, boys, and get the details. Well, shall we come? No, 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 no. you stay here. I'll take intent to everything. 
Well, there's not much use in making a report of this now, is there? Martin's death leaves you in control. So my job's finished. Oh, Don. I... I was a bit hasty yesterday. Oh, forget it. I don't blame you. I... I suppose I should have thought of Sylvia before I sent you here. Yeah. Yeah, you bet you should. A man who really loves a girl would have thought. Well, what are you going to do about it? First move is up to you, isn't it? Yeah. Guess I better tell her the truth. All she can do is tell me what she thinks of me. Okay, here goes. Sylvia. May I speak to you? Yes, Mr. Phillips. Well, I, I guess I'll go find Weatherby and, and have a game of chess. Sylvia, I wanted to tell you how it happened. You needn't. Well, I don't blame you if you don't even want to talk to me, but you really ought to know. I do know. Mr. Weatherby told me. Everything? Everything but one. What's that? When you made love to me, were you masquerading? Uh-uh. 